All right, hello everyone. Hello, hello, and welcome. How are you? <clears throat> What's up? TSP here, live on the stream. How you doing? Uh, today's a special day. Today's a special day after over two weeks. Uh, one of the longest games that I've played in recent memory. Um, it is now time for the conclusion of Neo. At least, let's let's be real here. At least it's going to be the conclusion of the last story mission. Supposedly, for what I'm to understand, okay, is that uh, after you beat this final story mission, you do kind of get a conclusion to the story, but then there's more to go. Apparently, there's a couple more um, post-game slash epilogue missions in the game that are apparently are the hardest in the game. I mean, appropriately so. Save the hardest for last, right? <clears throat> so, uh, we'll see, you know, we'll see what happens, we'll see how far I can get. Now, here's the good news, is that I have an entire stream here to focus on it. It's not like, oh man, I'm rushing to finish or whatever. And, in addition, today's gameplay stream, if need be, can go longer. I actually could stream till around 4.30ish today, normally I stream till around 4, but I could go a little bit longer today, because right now we're actually cooking a pot of stew, we're slow cooking it in our kitchen. And it's not going to be ready till 5 p.m. Pacific time. So I figure if I need the extra time, I can go a little bit longer here on stream. And uh, that'll give me enough time, about half an hour, to get those videos uploading to YouTube. And, uh, you know, and then jump downstairs and have some nice, delicious, fresh stew that we're making. Okay? Um, so that's good. Uh, I'm excited. Now, if we don't finish it today, okay, let's say we don't. I mean, let's say I beat the final mission. Great. I do one of the post-game missions, great, but, you know, I'm, we're not done yet. That's okay. I have the next few days, you know, I doubt it's going to take the next few days, but at least tomorrow, Friday, I have, if I need be, to do another session of Neo to, to polish it off, okay? So, we don't know. Um, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. We have to see what, what's going to happen here in regards to uh, how far I can get in the game. And, uh, you know, what, what, you know, in re I don't know what these post-game missions are. I have no idea. I didn't spoil myself. I didn't look into it. I easily could have, but I didn't want to. Because I wanted to kind of be, you know, pure, unadulterated uh, experience for you here live. All right? So I guess we'll see. We'll see together firsthand what happens today. So today, maybe the conclusion of Neo on stream. It may not. Now, directly dependent on what happens on today's gameplay stream... Okay, is going to be what I do tonight and tomorrow night. All right, so for example, let's say that I do actually complete Neo tonight. Let's say that I finish it up, I do the post game missions, we wrap it all up by the end of the stream, stick a fork in it, she's done. Then tonight, what I'm gonna do, uh, excuse me, I knew that was coming. That's <laughs> why so I tapped my chest here, I felt it coming up. Um, well, then tonight, what I'm gonna do is begin the review. I'm going to start working on the review for KO Gaming. Now, I can't guarantee you that the review will be released tonight, but I can tell you that uh, I will definitely do my best to, you know, put a significant amount of work into it. And once it's completed, it will be released on KO Gaming. All right. I don't know. Again, it could be tonight. It could be tomorrow. We'll see. So that's kind of the priority. Finishing the game, reviewing the game. Okay. Now, if I don't finish up Neo today on stream, then I'm not going to do the review yet. All right, so then tonight I have an option. I can either work on the next KO Gaming Community submission because I already have it. In fact, it's a this is how you don't play style video, but it's not like the first one that was uploaded there last week. It's actually very different. This is one where they just take my raw gameplay and they basically take the moments where I'm really sucking ass and they're edited together and you're going to see some uh, comments from those videos on YouTube superimposed over... Uh, the gameplay, all right? Um, and I think that's pretty much all it is. There's no commentary, there's nothing like that. It's just basically the raw gameplay of Metal Gear Solid Rising Revengeance, a game that I was fucking shit at. I was so bad at that game. So that's the next one for KO Gaming, all right? Um, I don't know. Again, I don't know if that's going to happen tonight or not. It all depends. The other thing is, I do want to play Yakuza 0 more. So... Really, let's play it by ear, all right? And depending on what happens on today's stream will affect what happens tonight. Now, same thing in regards to 
uh, tomorrow, all right, tomorrow's stream, I don't know what it's going to be, because, again, it's directly dependent on how today goes. If Neo completes today, then possibly tomorrow I'll be checking out the Ghost Recon Wildlands open beta, which apparently started today. All right, it started today, everyone's downloading it, playing it. It's kind of funny because some people are like, why is there a beta for a game that releases in two weeks? Because it's not a beta. It's basically a demo. Let's face it here. It's it's a demo, okay? And uh, there's no way that... Um, there's absolutely no way that people are going to play this game and they're going to get data and fix the game by the time it releases. Maybe, if anything, they'll get a little bit of feedback on the netcode and maybe they'll be able to tweak the netcode with a patch... But in regards to the game you're going to buy in, in, you know, two weeks here, no, this open beta is not going to really affect directly that game. You know what I mean? Um, but that being said, I may do that tomorrow. I'm very interested in that because a lot of people are playing that this weekend. I actually got an offer too from people who want to maybe play it with me this weekend. But I don't want to say that yet. We don't know what's going on yet until we have to see what happens with Neo. In addition, it looks like, okay, it looks like, that um, it looks like this weekend I'm going to have some free time since I'm finish, finishing up Neo. So I can definitely tell you all, all right, that I'm going to be doing a Twitch and Chill stream this weekend. Yeah, that's exciting, right? I cannot wait because the last one we did a month ago was great. And yes, I'll be playing the same games that I did last month. So it'll be the different Jackbox Party Packs and Choice Chamber. So that's going to happen this weekend. I'm not 100% on the day yet. I'll let you know when, when I, I do figure it out. All right. But Twitch and Chill is happening this weekend. So get hyped for that. I, I really liked the last one we did. And I think this next one will also be pretty fun. Okay. People are finally starting to react here. <laughs> There's a delay, super delayed reaction uh, rea in the stream chat because it's about... 30 to 45 seconds delayed here. Um, so yeah, one of the days this weekend, it's going to be Twitch and Chill. I'm not sure yet. It could be Saturday. It could be Sunday. I'm not sure. All right. Um, also, I do want to do another session of uh, Injustice 2 because Black Canary, this other character, this new character was released, and I have not checked her, checked her out at all. <laughs> okay, at all. And I because of that, I'm kind of missing out a little bit. I have the de the, the beta. So I'm thinking, I, th I believe that the, the beta ends this weekend, okay? And uh, I think what I'm going to do is try to squeeze that in at some point, all right? And then last but not least, I want to do a little bit more Yakuza 0, all right? Because this coming week, the new release, the big hype new release is Horizon Zero Dawn. And I've already announced that starting this week, it's probably going to be, uh, I'm thinking Monday, Okay, I'm going to start working a little bit earlier. Starting this week, I'm going to work a little earlier, and then I'm going to have a day off. So, actually, the way it's going to work is starting this Monday, the streams are going to start around 11 a.m. Pacific time. Oh, people are saying the Injustice 2 beta ended? Really? Oh, then I guess I'm not doing that. <laughs> I guess I'm not doing that then. I thought that uh, I thought that it was continuing, but apparently it ended. That sucked. So much for that. I thought that it was till the end of February. People are saying in the stream chat, no, it actually ended, uh, I guess, a day or two ago. That's kind of lame. All right, so that one's off. <laughs> Scratch that idea. Um, but anyway, as I was saying, starting this Monday, I'm going to start streaming a little earlier. It's going to be around 11 a.m. every day. So about an hour, uh, an hour earlier day. I hope you guys and gals who are here every day for the streams will remember and come out this hour earlier because it would really suck if I'm working the extra hour here and playing more games and no one's showing up. So please, one hour earlier starting ne uh, Monday. Monday will be the day I'm kind of putting my foot down. What day I'm playing, what game, excuse me, what game I'm playing on Monday, I don't know yet. It may be uh, Yakuza 0 simply because that's the lingering game that I've got going here, and I do want to try to put in a chunk of Yakuza 0 gameplay before Tuesday when Horizon Zero Dawn starts, okay? Now, here's the cool thing. I'm going to be doing longer streams, so that means Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday of this coming week, I'll be playing Horizon Zero Dawn longer than I normally would. I'll actually be doing, like, four-plus-hour gameplay streams, so maybe by the end of the week, I'll even complete the game because I don't know how long it is, but maybe by the end of the week, I'll have wrapped it up because I'm going to be doing extra gameplay. Okay, right? that's pretty cool. 
Um, and then, of course, the end of this week, my... Uh, well, the end of next week, excuse me. The Nintendo Switch is going to show up. I'm going to do a live unboxing stream. I'm going to be playing Zelda all day Saturday, uh, which is March 4th. And then that Sunday will be my first day off. Per the announcement I made last night, because of this schedule change, all right, I'm going to be playing longer, but I'm going to be taking a day off a week. So it's starting this week. I'm playing longer starting Monday, and then it's going to be Sunday that I'm taking off. All right, so not this Sunday. Just clarifying, this is all in March I'm talking. All right, so this new schedule goes into effect in March, and I think this is going to go well. All right, I think it will. I think it'll go well. I think it's going to be entertaining. More content every day when I'm here, and a day off for peace of mind for me. All right. Um, my Twitch dashboard just updated, and it says I'm offline. What the fuck? Am I still broadcasting, everyone? Oh, now my Twitch dashboard just updated and says I'm still online. <laughs> what is going on? I'm very confused. Is it working? No one in the stream chat has said that the stream went down. My Twitch dashboard completely crapped out and then came back. <laughs> There's some weird stuff going on right now. I don't know. Twitch is, is finicky. Let's put it that way. Um... Uh, <laughs> All right, now some people have been saying to me, oh, Phil, why aren't you playing Nier Automata? Why are you not playing Nier Automata? Um, I can adjust that right now. I'm not playing Nier Automata because it's not out. Ladies and gentlemen, Nier Automata comes out on March 7th in the United States. That's the release date. And a lot of people are saying, oh, but people are playing it right now on YouTube and on Twitch. Yes, what they've done is they got an imported version or they found a way to get the Japanese version, you know, to work on, an, on a, uh, an American console. Or maybe they own a Japanese console. I don't know. But they're playing the Japanese version. Apparently, it has the full English version included with it. So, basically, people are playing a different version that I don't have access to. And quite honestly, I don't have time to play the game now. I'm already I'm playing Neo. We've got Horizon coming up. we got other stuff coming up. Um... I was debating playing it around the middle of March because that week we had Ghost Recon Wildlands, which I am planning to do some co-op gameplay of that for several days to see if it pans out to be a good playthrough and if it does, maybe doing a full playthrough. I don't know, but I actually have a couple people who are interested in doing co-op with me that week. So definitely going to be for a few days jumping into Ghost Recon Wildlands that release week. But I was also debating that playing Near Automata maybe later that week or the week after because there's nothing going on in the middle of March. So I was thinking, oh, I could balance out, uh, you know, the middle of March with maybe Near Automata and, and, you know, maybe Yakuza 0 if it's still going on. Or maybe that could be a good week to start up the Patron's Choice playthrough, which is still being voted on right now. You know, there are a lot of options. Zelda, of course, will still be going on. A lot of options that I was, I was kind of balancing there. Um, but now I don't even know if it's worth it because people are already playing the game, right? People are already playing the game and the whole game will be revealed by that time. I don't even know if it's worth it for me to play. I mean, you're talking a game that will already have been completely played out by, by, by people in three weeks time. And it probably is not even going to be worth, worth, uh, playing, honestly. So, more than likely, I'm going to end up skipping Nier completely because of the way that they decided to release the game, which is asinine. If you have a, a version of the game that has English fully dubbed and in it, why the fuck would you release it early to Japan and wait three weeks to release it worldwide when it's the same fucking game? It makes no sense. So, I'm, I might just skip it. I think I'm just going to end up being skip, skipping it. Ser seriously. Unless someone can actually convince me a reason to play it then I'm probably going to skip it because of their stupid practice of releasing it early somewhere else. It just doesn't make any fucking sense. So, whatever. Um, Alright. So that's kind of the deal. That's what's going on. Alright. Um, Neo today. We'll play it by ear. We'll see if I'm playing Neo again tomorrow. If not, it'll probably be... Uh, I'll be checking out the Ghost Recon Wildlands beta. Um, this weekend you'll see uh, a Twitch and Chill stream. I'm probably doing more Yakuza 0 this weekend and Monday. Monday my schedule changes for the extended hours, alright? And more about this as we get closer, alright? More about this as we get closer. Okay. 
All right, what else? Um, the only other thing I want to talk about, folks, there's two things, actually, to bring up. First of all, if you didn't see my big, important vlog on the King of Hate vlogs last night, please check it out. Um, very important. It explains the full uh, explanation behind why I'm changing my schedule uh, because of, you know, a lot of stuff going on in my life personally and uh, definitely need a, more, a better work-life balance. So please check that out over on the King of Hate vlogs. But also... In regards to the whole YouTube ad revenue fiasco, where YouTube is telling me that I'm making insanely less money for absolutely no fucking reason and not giving me an explanation, I go into detail about this, and basically I lay down the law explaining, listen guys, if you really want to see me keep doing this, this YouTube thing and this Twitch thing, um, I hate to say it, but it, it looks like YouTube income is not going to be consistent anymore and it's not going to be dependable. They did something internally and changed something significantly in regards to my channels and did not tell me. Zero transparency. So some motherfucker who works there, you know, oh, I'll flick the switch or I'll, I'll put fill in some other category so he doesn't make ad revenue anymore. Whatever they did, um, I need your help. Whether it's Patreon, right? Pledging to Patreon. Whether it's right here on Twitch every day. Subbing to my Twitch channel and cheering with bits, right? Um, whether it's other things that you could suggest, like maybe better Patreon goals, give me suggestions of things that are viable that I can do to improve my Patreon so more people will pledge. Because a lot of people say, I would pledge to Phil's Patreon, but I don't like the goals. To which I kind of say, well, that's not the point. The whole point of Patreon is supporting me so I can keep doing this as a job and keep giving you daily live streams and, and videos and content. Not that you're getting something out of it like a contract. You're not purchasing something when you pledge to my Patreon. But unfortunately, that's kind of the, the way a lot of people think. It's capitalistic, right? I pay, I, I earn something, you gotta give me something for it. Um, so if you have, anyone has suggestions for better goals that I can convince more people to pledge, please pass them my way. And as I said last night, uh, some other ideas in regards to things like Teespring, right? Last year I dabbled with Teespring, possibly selling t-shirts of slogans and things, but I have zero graphic design experience. I cannot make great uh, designs that people would want to buy shirts from or whatever on Teespring, right? So if any of you are graphic designers, any of you have experience and want to dabble a little bit with it, and want to email me at darksidephil at hotmail.com or PM me on my forums on thekingofhate.com with some examples of things that you are that you may be able to do. Um, I actually got one this morning. I have not had a chance to even look at it yet. I got one email this morning of someone who said they made me a, a logo and I have not even looked at it yet. So if that's you and you're listening to this pre-stream, sorry, I haven't had a chance yet. But, <clears throat> but yeah, um, if you could find, uh, or excuse me, if you are interested in maybe making something for a shirt, I mean, I'm open to discussions about possibly, you know, giving you some, a, a little bit of something for it. Uh, I certainly wouldn't expect you to make high quality artwork for free, but at the same time, understand the whole point here is fundraising. I need to make money to keep doing this as a job. So I need, you know, a way to make money to do that. And therefore, uh, I can't pay you a million dollars for the artwork. Let's put it that way. Okay. <laughs> um, <clears throat> All right, uh, last but not least, I know a lot of people are asking this in the stream chat, so I'll just say this. Um, uh, I'm waiting to hear back from Machinima. I did write back to them yesterday in regards to wanting more information of what's going on with my ad revenue on YouTube. No, I didn't get another response yet. If I don't get a response today, I will be writing them again tomorrow. If I don't get a response tomorrow, I'll be calling the head of the partnership program myself personally. Because I, like I said in the video last night, Enough is enough. I'm not going to have my eight-year business get shut down because of some bullshit going on at YouTube. Some fucking idiot who decided to maybe take my channel and put it into a category where it doesn't get the profitable ads anymore. Or maybe my, my videos aren't getting ads right away anymore. Because that was the other thing. I uploaded the vlog last night. The vlog was live for over three hours and didn't have a fucking ad on it yet. And it's like, uh, what? My videos always used to get ads immediately. And now all of a sudden my videos aren't getting ads anymore. It's like, are you fucking crazy? I, I, this is stupid. This is absolutely stupid at this point. And I need an answer. I'm going to get a fucking answer. I'm going to demand one. If they will not give me an answer, I will fucking call YouTube myself. Because they have, they have their own contact line now, by the way. Their own helpline or whatever their own help email, I will contact them myself and say, I demand a fucking, you deserve an answer. I deserve an answer. Eight years 
of blood, sweat, and tears. Eight years doing business on YouTube, putting up content. Over 40,000 gameplay videos that people have enjoyed. How many hundreds of millions of views have I given YouTube? And they're gonna fucking tell me they don't, I don't deserve an answer on why they want to shut down my business. Fuck that noise. I'm getting an answer. All right. So anyway, yeah, I will, I will get everyone an answer. Uh, hopefully soon. We'll see. All right. One more thing, everyone. Then we'll get started. I know pre-stream's long, but hey, um, Leanna and her business has just hit its two-year anniversary. That's right. Two years. She's been operating her own small business called the Black Current where she sells handmade glycerin soaps and wax tart melts. So congratulations to her. Guess what? She's doing a sale. It just started right now, okay? Um, the sale is 25% off any order. I believe it's of $10 or more. Um, so if you're interested, you want some great handmade soap, uh, wax tart melts, which you can melt and make your house smell great. It's much safer than a candle and it's uh, reusable. All right, high quality stuff. Don't take my word for it. Check it out on her website. You've been seeing the plug play on the pre stream here. It's etsy.com forward slash shop forward slash the black current. All right, and ladies and gents, big sale 25% off. So the code, there's a special code you need to enter. All right, the code is get ready two years 25. So the number two, the word years. And then, actually, hold on a second. Now I gotta double check that because it might be two year, not two years. Now that I said that, I might have fucked up. Before I give you the wrong information, I'm gonna get it from the horse's mouth here. I just retweeted. It is two year 25. Wow, boy, am I glad I checked that. Two year 25. The number two, the word year, and then the number 25. That's gonna save you 25% on an order of $10 or more, all right? So check it out again, etsy.com forward slash shop forward slash the black current. That is till the end of the month. So you have until now, until the end of the month, what is that, about five and a half days left, something like that. Um, check it out, you're gonna like this stuff, trust me. I'm the, I am only wash with her soap. We burn her wax tart melts, it's great stuff. And uh, I'm proud of her, and you know, save yourself a, a little bit of dough and dive in yourself, check it out for yourself, all right? All right, everyone, thank you for your support. Thank you for everything. I appreciate you guys and gals being on the stream. I really do. Hopefully today's stream goes well. We'll see what happens in regards to uh, the end of Neo. Uh, remember, cheering and subbing helps me out. Consider doing so if you can. It looks like actually Gabriel K.O. subscribed to the channel today. I'm just, I'm just refreshing Streamlabs here. And it says Gabriel K.O. subscribed. So thanks to Gabriel K.O. It also says... Methods World and JonTron subscribe. So thank you to uh, to those people. I definitely appreciate that. Um, and... Hold on a second. What the hell is this? Got a pop-up. Screwed up. I know some people cheered, but sadly, stupid... Uh, stupid Streamlabs didn't update. So I know a couple... I see Tantamounter did a 200-bit cheer here. Um... I don't know who else did. I know someone else did like a 100-bit cheer. And there's been some small... Oh, here you go. Nerve117 did a 100-some bit cheer. I'm trying to scroll up, but it's a losing effort here. As more people talk, it just keeps scrolling back down. So thanks to those who did cheer so far. I appreciate it. And, uh... Wow, Streamlabs is not updating. <laughs> it didn't pick up Nerve's cheer either. Well, I refreshed it. Hopefully it, it updates. If anyone has a very small cheer that they could do right now just to test, I'd appreciate it. It looks like... Oh, here we go. Blue Blur just cheered. Yeah, uh... Streamlabs is not working. Streamlabs is completely done. It's not working at all for me today. It's not showing any of your cheers. This sucks. How am I going to do sh thank you shoutouts? I don't know. Wait a minute. I'm still recording pre-stream. Oops. Let me end the pre-stream and then we'll figure this out. All right. 